He is, of course, at war with FDR in this strange reverse theater. And I think the Americans just got some revenge. Yeah, they kind of just did their own Pearl Harbor. Well, with that, Hirohito, you know what you got to do. Now, this swapped video, I think, is going to be very different from our previous two, because obviously we're not messing with Europe at all. We are, however, affecting two of the most important members in these two factions. So while everything should stay the same in Europe, shit's going to be pretty different outside of this one theater. I imagine a world where the weeaboos have taken over the US and have changed our name to Japan. And I think it's going to be important to keep in mind fascism is going to have a pretty big impact in the rest of the new world. Hirohito is going to be spreading his influences getting it real nice and deep like. And I'm also wondering, is FDR even gonna go to war with China? And if they do, will that affect the way they form a faction? Because I'm pretty sure they're not gonna be liking democracies as much anymore. And by the way, real quick, the death of Paintbrush is coming very soon at 200,000 subscribers. I will finally be cutting my hair for the first time in like five years. That way, when I kill myself, I can just say it was cancer. So please subscribe. We're five days into this video and Japan has declared war on Korea. Wait, what the hell happened? So I'm assuming the US just kind of liberated Korea, which then Japan declared war on them a few days later. Yep, they're a democracy. They usually get liberated by someone like the Soviet Union, but this is already a very weird start. Oh yeah, uh, let's not forget that Japan has control over the Philippines. So this might turn out very badly for Korea. Just as we expected, there it goes. Japan's reaffirming the Monroe Doctrine, which means fascism is about to spread to a whole lot of new countries. It looks like they're starting off with the neighbors first, and it'll slowly get much worse from there. Republican Spain, what the hell? How many divisions do you have encircled right now? Is this why you always fucking lose? I should mention, the Americans don't have control over Manchuku, only this little republic here. But yeah, these guys are gonna stay, for the most part, independent throughout this game. So I'm wondering if that's gonna affect the way Stalin acts in the East. Oh, the Chinese didn't just absorb Tibet this time. So this would be a nice time to attack America. All right, I'm not gonna lie. These factions are starting to get, you know, a little, little annoying now. They were cool at first, but now they're just popping up every single time. Either way, I gotta give them credit. They're the strongest both these teams can get with four members each. So France has gone communist, so they will likely join the Comintern. Maybe. Which is interesting, because they're the only faction not affected by the US and Japanese swap. Something weird is already beginning to happen. Uh, fascist Afghanistan just started a civil war. And that may not be the only one we see by the end of this video. Oh shit, FDR did it. I'm kind of surprised. He's going after the Soviet state here, which didn't start off communist before, so that's kind of odd. And as you can see, he might be getting ready to roll his ass into China soon. I gotta say, I'm already pretty surprised. I've never seen America actually declare war on East Asia. Oh shit. Uh, that's a fascist uprising that just occurred after France went communist. Oh man, this scary old guy, I think is gonna win. He's already being supported by Mussolini, so he might just straight up join the Axis. What the hell was that? Uh, okay, it's over already? That lasted like seven seconds. Which is still longer than I last in bed. But nonetheless, it was pretty quick. And now Japan is doing that whole thing with Chile. The Axis is already going after Greece and Romania, which that shouldn't be too difficult. And that is a country I can honestly say I've never seen before. And of course, it's gonna be the Habsburg that goes over there and rapes it. China just won their war with Tibet, and there isn't actually anything happening between these two countries. Also, something really funky is going on with these ideologies. I expected fascism to be spreading in weird places, but I don't know what's going on here. Like, look at Ireland. What? What's going on, guys? I mean, I guess they do have some similarities here. They're gonna run out of potatoes either way. Oh, you done goof real hard, Korea. Um, you done goof real hard. Japan has landed, so I guess I could see why you got a little nervous, but this might not be the best idea. And I say that because there was a chance that Japan would probably form their own faction. They are definitely not guaranteed to join the Axis, because I've seen them before form a North American faction. Now I guess it is still possible, but just a little bit less likely now. Oh, it looks like we do have one unique faction in this game. It's not very common we see this. I guess it was because Germany declared on Poland. Also, let's not forget, Japan is now at war with the UK, Canada, you know, all the allies. I can honestly say I Definitely have never seen this situation before. And there it is. Okay, I expected this one. Did this happen because the Germans are being Nazis? Yep. No. Oh, yeah, kind of. It wasn't how I expected, but because they declared war on the Soviet Union. Oh, and there it is. Okay, now Japan immediately joins the Axis. 
I mean, it doesn't really change Canada's fate. Oh, and Manchuku also joined the Axis. They did that all by themselves, too. So this world's already pretty similar to World War II, except, well, this is gonna be the massive difference. Will Japan save Hitler instead of completely fucking him over? As we all know, he loves to do. And there's communist Belgium. All right, well, that doesn't really matter, but that will affect the French. They're already trying to get past these forts. Oh shit, okay, there goes another communist civil war. How many civil wars have happened in this game? Oh, and they joined the Comintern. So even though this uprising probably wasn't gonna have much success, Gay Bear Stalin now has to declare war on the three brothers. I gotta say, I am really, really shocked there are only three fascist countries in South America. I mean, the ideology is doing well in this continent, but it hasn't really taken over much. Oh my god. What have you done? FDR, did you lose your damn mind? Oh, yes he did. Yes, he for sure did. Once again, I feel like these swap videos don't look like they change much, but I've honestly watched some of the strangest World War II's I've ever seen in Hoi 4. I do also want to mention, of course, Manchuku has no chance. I forgot the Koreans are gonna help. For being a liberated nation, they're having a pretty big impact on this game. Oh, also, neutral Switzerland just joined the common turn. That's how you know this game's getting too crazy. When the Swiss join one of the three major factions. So just to review, this is what the wars look like from some of the major powers. Obviously, Hitler's still dealing with the most here. And of course, he's gonna make it so much worse. It's like he has to declare war on every single faction. It's 1941, and I think the best part of this video so far is East Asia has kind of kept their shit together. Usually, during this time period, there's a whole bunch of fun things that's going on. The Ecuadorian Authority declared war in Ecuador. I think we might actually see another fascist uprising. Okay, wait, never mind. I think that uprising might have included just about three people. Okay, there we go, it's about time. So I think just now fascism is starting to take over. So Brazil is gonna be a pretty powerful ally. Uh, but wait a second, that isn't even gonna matter. God damn it, Hitler, you cannot win. You legit might just be the biggest loser in history. Come on, dude, just start putting the kids out there. Send the 12 year olds at him, let's go. Here's the thing though, the three brothers are holding strong. They're keeping the Soviets back. Plus, Denmark is even giving the Soviets trouble in Northern Germany. Damn, that Middle Eastern faction just completely dissolved. Two civil wars between a communist uprising and another fascist uprising in Afghanistan. Iraq just randomly joined the allies again, and then Turkey's chilling here, basically all by themselves. It's that time in the video where Portugal wants to kill themselves. I didn't know my subconscious was leading this country. Oh my God, Lithuania, what kind of Reich you be joining? That's not a Reich I've ever heard of. Yep, never seen that before. I'm guessing it's like a Baltic fascist team. We also have Latvia going democratic and then a nice little civil war going on in Estonia. I don't understand how Canada is still alive. Is Japan struggling or something? No, they have 273 divisions. Yet the Axis is still crumbling in Europe. 492 factories, by the way, as well, compared to, well, it's more than the Soviet Union. Is this just his plan all along? I really think he's like a double agent, always trying to kill Hitler. He is, of course, at war with FDR in this strange reverse theater. And I think the Americans just got some revenge. Yeah, they kind of just did their own Pearl Harbor. Well, you can't just let them do that here, Hito. You know what you got to do. Another Chinese nation just joined the Axis. I'm wondering if actual China is going to do anything. No, you're still not aligned? You're just going to chill here the whole time? Yeah, so even though Nationalist Spain joined the Axis, I don't really think that's gonna help him. Hitler's already pretty much dead, and Japan doesn't really give a shit. There we go, there's another nice civil war, this time in Mexico. Drug cartel versus drug cartel. Wait a second, there ain't nothing new here. Oh shit, how did Siam just take over all of French Indochina? Also, they're not aligned, but I don't know how that's happening. Okay, Mao just got access to a whole nother country over here. I didn't know he could do that. I thought it was only this China that could do that. There's my man. Okay, good, good. So glad that he took over. He really is just the sexiest Canadian I've ever seen. All right, guys, well, it's 1943, and no one is obviously going to be able to take out Japan. The Axis will never truly fall with Hirohito right here. I think with time, though, we could have seen most of South America also join the Axis, because fascism pretty much controls this continent by now. Communism, on the other hand, will likely take over all of Europe, while the Three Brothers, which it's incredible that they've stayed alive this long, they're all democratic, just chilling here. 
somehow holding off the Soviets. The Americans in Japanese mainland really haven't done much against the Soviets. This is about as much progress as they've made in the last couple years. They did stay out of a war with China, but that ultimately didn't make a difference. But by the way, real quick, just look at how inefficient this American-Soviet war has been. What the fuck happened? Honestly, I, I don't even see how this is possible. This isn't even including the German war. Dang, yeah, that might be the most I've ever seen. In total, they're nearing 10 million casualties. That's gotta be a first for it only being 1943. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. This world's basically gonna be an endless war between fascism and the new world and kind of a mixture of democracies and communism. Also, big shout out to Jay Slees who helped me build this mod. That saved me a lot of time. Yep, there you go. Brazil just joined, but that's not gonna change a thing. Cause uh, yeah, it's, it's over over here. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. And of course, big thanks to Neo, Wyone, DestinyFucker9000, Jacob W, Random Guy, Logan A, Rasmus F, Jacob Scott, Elfie, Stormblade, Ethan J, Kirby, Humor Demon, Namir, Stefan M, and Furry Cruz for being my crack daddies. If you want to support me, you can find a link to my Patreon in the description down below. Thank you so much.